Welcome to 101, the mini podcast project. I'm your host and resident voice, Anthony Cruz. And today is March 6, 2017. And we're back again. And uh, to share some of my thoughts, I like doing this. It's kind of like a like a audio diary, like an audio journal. It's it's cool. And uh, I got I know something a little different today, where I got a little bit of uh, a little bit of ambient music playing in the background. I really dig this kind of stuff. It it it, it sets a mood. It gets you thinking intro you know introvertedly. Um, gets you thinking about a lot of different things that that you otherwise wouldn't put much time into. It's calm, it's relaxing, it's soothing. I'm all about mood. I'm all about having like peace and serenity to help you get through the everyday, you know, drudge. Like that constant repetitiveness that we all we all go through like every day we get up and we 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 get ready for work and and we we do our routines in the morning and then we go off to work and we spend eight hours nine hours 12 hours some people do double shifts and then we make the same routine coming home and when we get in the house we we go through the motions of getting relaxed and, and getting ready for bed so we can start over and do it again and the crazy thing about that is that where do you set yourself the time to like unwind to think about the things that are important to you yeah sure you know getting the bills paid and things like that are important making sure your kids are fed and those are all important things but what are the what are the things that that keeps your dreams and your your thoughts you know what are your aspirations basically and, and I'm all I'm big about that I'm about I'm about Zen without being a tree hugger I'm about setting the mood according to how I'm feeling if that, if that makes any sense um, one of the things I'm big I'm big on on a sort of sort of flow in the way I do things, in the way I speak, in the way I just approach my life. And not to say that it goes right all the time. It, it's a it's not something that you do and it works tomorrow. It's a life adjustment. You're just changing the way you approach everything that has to do with your life internally, externally. How you interact with your friends, how you interact at the work, at the workplace. I find myself often thinking ahead, almost daydreaming in the sense about where my life could be. And not just, you know, in a year or five years, but like tomorrow or two days from now. Am I going to change my mindset to think about the things that that's going to get my life on a path where even when I step into my apartment, it's designed in a way that is just so natural to who I am as a person, to my personality. I mean, that's the whole thing about design. That's the whole thing about, you know, interior decorating or art or anything like that it's you expressing yourself not for anyone else but just so that you're comfortable in your own world but you like to spend time at home because it's just right and you like going to certain places because that fits your style and demographic it's about being an individual and my my individual what is it, individualism? Is that the way to put it? It's the calm, cool demeanor. You know, I rarely get rattled. Um, and when I do, I tend to lock up even more and tend to focus and try to be even cooler than I was before that. So that 
I can tackle whatever problems come my way insightfully, decisively. It's a it's a it's a hard juggle. But once you get into that groove, man, there's nothing you can't accomplish. You start to see things in ways that are beyond your expectations. My brother got into heavy into meditation. And it works for him. And it does work. Anyone who meditates uh, really got a good beat on things. You know what I'm saying? It, it, like I said, meditation is not something you do once. It's something that you do ongoing. That becomes part of your lifestyle. Where you just sit there and focus. And um, plan where you see yourself in the future. And then taking that idea and crafting it into fruition. It becomes tangible. It becomes something that you can grasp onto. Metaphorically or physically. But, um... But, yeah. I changed. I, I changed when, when I became single. And I embraced the, the, the nerd. That's how the podcast, that's how everything got started. It was me embracing who I was. Getting... In touch, back in touch with my artist roots, getting in touch, back in touch with my inner nerd, and it was possibly the greatest, the greatest experience I've had so far. I mean, I met celebrities, I've I've done amazing things, but you know, getting back in touch with with who I am. And understanding that this is who I should have been all along is so profound. I can't even explain it. What are the odds that I've come full circle in my mindset and my life is not even half over yet? Very fortunate to say that. Can I be in a different place where I'm financially better? Sure. Can I be in a better apartment? Absolutely. But I have it in my mind that I'll get there. And I just want to be, you know, me when I get there. I don't want to be anybody else. I don't want to be somebody I'm not supposed to be. You know? It, it's 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 all about finding your zen, man. You, if you watch the... If you watched, what was that, uh, Tron, the Tron movie, the Legacy, where Jeff Bridges, he meets his father, you know, and he's all old, he's stuck in the, in the, in the world there, and he's still the same guy he was back from the original movie, like, it's all about, it's about Zen, man, it's about being, you know, just one with yourself, and, and I dig it, I dig it big time. That's why I can sit down and listen to ambient music like this and enjoy the fuck out of it. Not all music that I have to listen to, I have to shake my ass to. Doesn't it doesn't have to be that way? It doesn't have to be like that for anybody. We get conditioned by our environment. We get conditioned by our by our environment to like certain things. If you grew up in the Bronx near the projects, you grew up. You know, in, in, in the urban environment, we're listening to rap and hip hop, pop songs, things like that. Because everybody else around you is listening to that. You're a product of your environment. I remember taking a, a music class back in high school, and that kind of set me on a, on a different path. Because I got open to so many different kinds of music, from symphonies to to... You know, you know, orchestral symphonies, to foreign music, to foreign culture music, Euro house, techno, techno pop, Euro pop, ambient. Like I said, this track here alone can run for an hour and I'll be okay. It sets a mood, it sets your mind at ease, it gives you peace. 
I know when I'm behind the wheel of a car, I get a little tight. I mean, if anybody who has like a trick, everybody got a trick of something. For me, it's shitty drivers. Drivers can tend to like, you know, get under my skin. But I could put on a track like this and it kind of soothes the savage beats. I can get there and drive and just enjoy the music and enjoy driving. Because that's like one of the second things I love the most. I love to drive. And you put on this music and you set a mood for me, forget it. It's fantastic. And then the hard part about it is staying focused. Staying focused to it all. I was on a program that worked really well and it still works uh, for the people that are still doing it. Uh, Yoli. It's uh, one of those like like Herbalife. If you're familiar with it, it's like Herbalife. You take uh, supplements and you drink energy drinks and shakes and whatnot. And it's a really good program. You take these alkalets and then you take some vitamin, vitamins and minerals and then you, you'll have your energy drinks that get you through the day and your, your shakes will supplement your meals. And you can lose some considerable weight. You know, losing weight is a way of, of also not just healing your body, but at the same token, you're healing your mind. You know, eating food, I don't know, this... Eating, he eating heavy food has a way of interrupting your synapses. Like you can only think about how much you want to eat against how you ate too much. And then your stomach's full and you're distracted by that. So yeah, eating is a big part of it. So taking these Yolis, I'm not one on pills. I never really was one on pills. Not for medicine or anything. But part of the program, if you want to lose a little, a little bit, you got to take these vitamins, and they're all natural, you know. It's, they're vitamins and minerals. And one of the things I discovered, that I never knew. I always knew of them, but I never really realized how helpful they can be. Which is um, the fish oils. Fish oils. I I remember the first time I took one of those things. I was so focused at work. I sat there for like eight hours straight. I don't remember taking lunch. I picked up my head and it was time to go home. I was so in locked in because my mind was so like stimulated. You know, between the vitamins that I took, the alkaline to, to detox my body, the pure and all that stuff. I took it all. And uh, and that fish oil, man, that boy kicked in. It was almost, I almost quantify it. The way I first had an iced coffee. <coughs> I remember when I first took an iced coffee. I was bouncing off the walls, man. I, I'm i not a big coffee drinker. If somebody offers to me, I have it. But unlike regular coffee, iced coffee is mostly sugar. And especially if you get one of those from like McDonald's. Possibly the best iced coffee you could possibly have. But at the same token, it has a shit ton of sugar and I remember drinking it and I'm flying off the handle I'm like choo, 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 flying all over the place and people are like what's wrong with you and I'm like I don't know I never felt this way before and I was locked in and it's it's addicting man it's like you start once you have it once you gotta have it so many other times my heart even started to flutter because I was having too much of it but um, but when you realize the the level of energy you you have, and it comes from something all natural, whether it be you know vitamins or minerals or or fish oils, it could be within yourself. We all have internal stimulants, things that endorphins and things that that get you pumping, and it doesn't have to be. It, uh, triggered by anything foreign it could be triggered by you you know and that gets your body going and that gives you the energy to keep going I remember early in my early 20s you couldn't get me to go to sleep hell up until maybe like my my mid 30s I was the same way like, you just cannot get me to go to sleep I had I had second and third and fourth wins where 
I'll get up and I'm like, all right, we're going to go back out. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. No problem. Gone. And that's an amazing thing. And then to get to a point where you're on the better half of your 30s, on the later half of your 30s, creeping closely to your 40s, and then you go and have some more energy like that, that's a hell of a thing. And it, and it and it's mindset, man. It's it's about getting your mind right, wrapping your brain around the things that make you happy, the things that you didn't even think that would make you happy, but you discover it. That's how it was with me. That's how it was for me in the past two years. You know, learning things about myself, learning about the things that I want to do, to to take the chances that I was too afraid to take when I was younger. It's there, man. You only get one life, one chance to make it work. And to make it work the way you want it to work. And I'm nowhere near where I want to be, career-wise. But I'm going to give it my all, the best I got, to get there. And, like I said, when I started the podcast, it changed my life. I didn't realize how much it was going to affect me. Like, you got to want to do this. You got to find it within yourself to want to do this. And not just like, I'm not just talking about myself. I'm talking about in anything you do, whether you be a dancer or a musician or an architect or or a judge, you know, or somebody who's invested in the law and learning the judicial system. You got to love that because that's how you're going to soar. Because you're going to put in the time, even when you're not getting paid for it, but you still want to do it. You have this drive, this need to do it. And that's what I have. There are people who started after me doing podcasts, and they're a lot further along than I am right now. And yeah, it would be great to have the numbers, sure. But just having this is by far the best thing I've ever had so far. And so easy it's so easy to do it it's almost insane that people get paid to do this and if I actually ever get lucky enough to get that far where I can start getting paid to do podcasting to do my artwork where I just sit on my ass and draw all day or sit on my ass and talk for an hour or two and know that it can lead to bigger and better things Man, I, I'm almost sad that I didn't think of this while I was in my 20s. I was too afraid of what people thought. Too afraid to think about, you know, what happens if I fail. Fear is good, man. The hell with it, man. I'm not going to be afraid about what it is I'm putting out there. I'm not going to be afraid about what people are going to think of it. You know, you're not going to please everybody. That's just the way life is. You can't touch the heart and spirit and soul of every person on earth that was Jesus' job (laughs) that's whoever your deity is that was their job but that's not my job because if I even touch the mind of one person that's more than good enough for me and to put out a podcast and to put out an episode and, and people say Man, great job, or man, you said that, you know, you said that right on point, you know, and, and wow, man, that was an amazing illustration you did. More than anything I could ever hope to expect. You won't need coffee or pills or anything like that to match that high. There's nothing, there's nothing out there. It's a, it's a self-rewarding thing with almost no consequence. Like I said, it's probably the best time in my life right now. And I hope it only gets better. Paving the way to something great. And I welcome anybody who wants to come along. It's a part of me that I can never let go. 
I can never go back to the way it was. I'm a changed dude. And I'm happy for it. And on that note, thank you for joining me on One to One. I've been your host, Anthony Cruz. And I'll see you next time. And oh yeah, subscribe to my Facebook page. Oh, follow me on Facebook. Hit the like button. Do that stuff. Go to my YouTube channel. Hit subscribe. Or matter of fact, you want to make it easy if you can't find me on YouTube? Go to my website, artgraphicsinc.com. There's a button that says subscribe right at the top. All you got to do is click that little button and it's all set. And you can even, there's even a Facebook page, a like button or whatever. You can like my page, do that as well. So thank you and I'll see you next time.